啊，你包啊，半农先生呢？我特近刚才我这个跟他们谈那么多，我特别感兴趣，他想说一下关于台湾问题，大陆持续的对台湾人民威胁，进行了蓝金黄。如果真的台湾得有遭受了更多共产党的威胁，呃，美国会做什么？会不会保护我们台湾？啊，他们会呃撤呃派兵，或者采取各种的可能手段去支持和保护台湾人民吗？ Uh, Mr. Bannon, uh, we appreciate our discussion. I would like to ask you a question on uh, Taiwan. Uh, as you know, um, the uh, CCP has been doing a lot of threats to the Taiwanese people. And uh, if there is a further threat to the Taiwanese people, do you think the U.S. will send armies to protect the Taiwanese? I think you're saying, look, as a young man, you know, I was in the Pacific Fleet as a, uh, as a naval officer. And I pulled into Taiwan many, many, many times. Right in a in, with my destroyer, uh, with our carrier battle group, with all that, and back in those days, we had a very upfront military and strategic relationship with Taiwan. There's a deep love for the Taiwanese people by people in the United States. That have always looked at it as you know that's where many freedom loving people in China uh, left for. Right back in the 1940s and the 1950s,、uh, I think Taiwan has tremendous support、uh, among. Uh, the American people, and I think what you're seeing today, for for your audience in China, I think what you're seeing is that you're seeing a lot more activity of these carrier battle groups. We now have two carrier battle groups that are, unlike under Obama and even under Bush, did not go through the Straits of Taiwan and then down to the South China Sea and through the Straits of Malacca. You have active、uh, participation now of these carrier battle groups, and they're also going there in what is.、Uh, Used to be called safe under Obama. It was safe passage, where they wouldn't have their radars up, they wouldn't have you know their fire control radars. Now, in these carrier battle groups, with all the cruisers and submarines and destroyers that they bring, are going through really in a, in a much more aggressive way. That is not aggression against the Chinese people, right? What it's telling is the CCP, right, which is kind of this gangster mob that、uh, enslaves the Chinese people. And it's trying to enslave the people, the free people of Hong Kong and Taiwan. What it's saying is that freedom-loving people in the West, right, are your allies. That you have not been forgotten, and that、uh, those sailors on those ships basically are working-class people, just like the people in Hong Kong,、uh, mainland China, in Taiwan. So yeah, I think it's, I think people should really pay attention as the economic situation gets worse. Because the incompetence of CCP on the economy, they're going to start to try to try to have military stuff be more important.、Right. And I think the Chinese people have to watch, trying to be sold on a potential invasion of Taiwan, right? And I think that that is a, you know, that is a, going to be one of the big hotspots in the next five or ten years.